Imagine you want to unlock the full potential of your brain. You want to feel as if you are suspended in time and your complete focus is on the task provided. How will you do it? Deep Work by Cal Newport explores the possibility of maintaining sharp focus and attention. If you are lacking this ability in your life and are desperate to become the best version of yourself, watch this video till the end as we are about to unlock the secrets of deep work and how to achieve this state. Deep work is becoming rare. The deep work hypothesis underscores the increasing rarity and thus the growing value of this skill in our economy. This scarcity of deep work makes it an urgent skill to develop as those who cultivate this ability will be in high demand. Deep work is in short supply. Why? Because shallow work is much simpler and businesses promote it. Even major corporations are no exception. For example, Facebook aims to introduce the world's most extensive open floor plan. Over 3,000 employees will work on movable furniture spread across more than a 10-acre expanse of office space. This continuous connectivity and emphasis on rapid response times in the workplace often lead to the adoption of the easiest path, promoting a culture of shallow work. This superficial approach can have significant detrimental effects on productivity, making it crucial to avoid. The concept of least resistance principles postulates that when employees are not given explicit feedback on the consequences of different behaviors, they will tend to take shortcuts to an extreme extent. Success in the workplace is contingent on productivity. Even if one possesses skill and talent, with output, thriving is attainable. In Cal Newport's view, many employees exhibit visible busyness, which substitutes for actual productivity. Due to a need for more understanding and guidance on adding value in the workplace, they tend to focus on superficial signs of productivity by conspicuously performing tasks. Without clear objectives, engaging in deep work can be challenging, leading most employees to default to shallow work as a means of self-preservation. This underscores the necessity of clear objectives for deep work, making it a crucial practice to adopt. Once one comprehends how to optimize available resources, engaging in deep work becomes crucial for achieving productivity. Deep work involves concentrating on a single task without interruptions while maintaining a high concentration level. This leads to an increase in performance and efficiency. Research has shown that multitasking reduces productivity while concentrating on one task simultaneously maximizes output quality. Eliminating distractions allows you to complete more tasks in less time. Your productivity increases as your level of focus intensifies. The concept of attention residue is related to the effectiveness of working in an undistracted state, which will be further discussed in the next section. In today's businesses, not engaging in deep work prevents the company from discovering significant potential advantages, resulting in a missed opportunity to optimize production. If this pattern persists, the value of deep work will continue to rise, making it essential to utilize the insights from this book to enhance your deep work skills and enjoy substantial benefits. Why is deep work important? In his definition, Cal Newport describes deep work as any professional task performed without distractions, allowing individuals to utilize their cognitive abilities fully. Conversely, Shallow work involves non-cognitively demanding activities carried out amidst distractions. Shallow work does not hold intrinsic value, and individuals who engage in it are easily replaceable. Shallow work is best suited for less demanding tasks that don't require much cognitive effort, such as checking emails, responding to notifications, or attending non-essential meetings. It's a nearly automatic and reproducible process that doesn't require intense focus but can give a false sense of accomplishment from completing simple tasks. Rarely practiced deep work is becoming more valuable, offering substantial benefits to those who master it. Automation is causing the loss of skills and jobs, disadvantaged many individuals. However, certain groups will prosper and perform exceptionally well. Skilled workers proficient in communication and interacting with sophisticated machinery are displacing numerous low-skilled roles.
individuals who understand that achieving excellence in a specific market is insufficient. Entrepreneurs with substantial capital are investing in emerging technologies that have the potential to disrupt our way of life. Technology is constantly in flux, requiring individuals to continuously learn and adapt to new concepts. To become a leader in the evolving economy driven by automation and technology, it is essential to sharpen these two fundamental skills. The capacity to rapidly grasp complex concepts. With technology evolving rapidly, keeping up with the latest advancements is increasingly challenging. Competitors utilize intricate command lines like SQL, making it crucial to remain current. Producing high-quality work rapidly and consistently is essential. Being adaptable to change, regardless of its extent, and staying open-minded will lead you to success. Holding on to outdated perspectives will hold you back. Do not work in a semi-productive state. When you switch from one task to another, your attention doesn't automatically shift to the new task. Some parts of your mind may still be engaged with the previous task. This lingering mental engagement is what we call attention residue, key. It's particularly noticeable when the last task was open-ended or low intensity. Even if you finish the previous task, some of your attention will still be on it for a while. What are the drawbacks of sporadically checking your email? Some argue that keeping it closed only at certain times is preferable. The author argues that this is a slight improvement. When you move to your inbox, you create a new focal point for your attention. Then, if you see task B that you can't tackle immediately, you return to task A while leaving task B incomplete. Productivity is enhanced when one deeply engages in work for a prolonged period. The concept of attention residue operates as follows. Whenever you shift from task A to task B, some attention lingers on task A. Concentrating on the new task becomes more arduous, resulting in decreased productivity when transitioning between tasks. The concept of attention residue operates in the following manner. Whenever you shift from task A to task B, part of your focus remains on task A. Focusing on the new task becomes more complex, resulting in decreased productivity during task switches. In a study, participants were tasked with solving a series of puzzles. Initially, they reviewed CVs and selected a potential candidate. Subsequently, they were allowed to begin and complete the puzzle in the second phase. Researchers conducted tests between the two tasks to ascertain the presence of attention residue. The results indicate that lingering attention on previous tasks impairs performance on subsequent tasks. To achieve peak productivity, focus intensely without distraction on a single task for extended periods. Rules of Deep Work After understanding the importance of deep work for productivity, you must have recognized that knowledge is simple. The challenging part is taking action. Humans struggle with multitasking as we are easily diverted. The following guidelines will show you how to integrate deep work into your daily routine. Engage in focused work. Embrace moments of boredom. Minimize social media usage. Eliminate shallow work. First, Engage in focused work. The effort required for deep work can deter many people from practicing it. In our current cultural environment, prioritizing deep work becomes even more difficult. Rule one, welcome boredom rather than avoiding it. Cultivating acute concentration is essential for maximizing productivity. Just as athletes prioritize caring for their bodies outside of training, you should sharpen your concentration skills during downtime Constantly succumbing to distractions whenever you feel bored will hinder your ability to achieve the deep focus necessary for quality work. Rule 2. It's crucial to condition your brain to resist instant gratification from distractions. Otherwise, you may fall into a recurrent pattern of being easily diverted, even when you're determined to work deeply. To break this cycle, embrace moments of boredom, and resist the urge to check your phone every time it notifies you. Doing so can strengthen your resistance to distractions and improve your ability to concentrate. Rule three, cease using social media. Social media platforms epitomize superficial existence. As the author emphasizes, 
they do not provide any valuable returns for the time we invest in them. Constantly checking your social media accounts can hinder your ability to engage in deep work. Deep living and social media are not compatible due to their addictive nature. Rule four states the importance of eliminating shallow work. Nicholas Carr's book, The Shallows, illustrates how the internet negatively impacts our mental well-being. Previous chapters have cited examples of shallow work, such as attending meetings, making phone calls, responding to emails, and engaging in other low-value tasks. To engage in deep work, it is essential to minimize shallow work. You can focus more on meaningful work by making time for deep work and minimizing shallow tasks. It's possible to incorporate deep work into your life by establishing rituals and routines, which will help you naturally integrate deep work into your routine. Stick to a routine. Engaging in deep work can be difficult in a world that promotes shallow P work. Establishing rituals and routines can help reduce the willpower required to transition into undisturbed focus. You can choose one of the approaches below or combine two or more to suit your lifestyle. The monastic approach involves completely isolating oneself from distractions similar to monks in a monastery. The bimodal approach alternates between leading an everyday, engaged life and a more isolated one. For example, the author switched between a regular therapy practice and social life in Zurich and a more ascetic mode at his retreat house, where he writes, the rhythmic approach involves designating a consistent time for deep work each day, such as early mornings from 5 to 7 a.m. or specific weekdays like Tuesdays and Thursdays. The journalistic approach entails integrating deep work into your schedule whenever possible, much like a journalist preparing to meet a deadline for writing an article when necessary. Adhering strictly to your schedule is crucial. Many successful individuals emphasize that discipline aids in concentrating on their work. While there is no single correct method for working, these approaches can serve as a framework for incorporating deep work into your daily routine. Value of systematic idleness. The contention from the author is that it is essential to have regular and substantial leisure periods when you are not occupied with professional matters. This deliberate leisure time will facilitate the accomplishment of deep work. Here's why. Periods of rest assist in gaining new perspectives. Your subconscious mind will tackle any lingering issues on your behalf. Hence, engaging in these leisure pursuits will improve your decision-making ability by gaining fresh insights. Periods of rest are crucial for re-energizing. When engaging in deep work, you utilize a form of energy known as directed attention, a finite resource. To replenish this energy, it's necessary to take a break. How can you integrate downtime into your daily schedule? The author suggests implementing a shutdown ritual to disconnect from work until the next day fully. Avoid checking emails after dinner, refrain from planning for the next day's tasks, and prevent yourself from mentally rehashing conversations. Strive to shut down your thinking as much as possible entirely. If you are looking for a guide or manifesto, Deep Work by Cal Newport should be you go to because it teaches you how to stay focused in the era full of distractions. The author constantly argues that deep work is not only essential for your success, but will help you unlock the hidden powers of your brain. Your brain is the most powerful organ. Do not underestimate it because it defines and rewrites for you your reality. If you want to master your life and achieve success in your career or even in your life, follow what Cal Newport tells you. Thank you for listening to our audiobook summary. If you enjoyed it and are interested in purchasing the full book, click the link in the description below. Your support helps keep this channel running. If there's a specific book you'd like us to summarize next, please leave the title in the comments. We love hearing your suggestions and we'll do our best to cover your requested books. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy reading!